Hello and good morning. It's time to wake up, everybody. Wake up, Nigeria. <laughs> the weekend is here, people. It's yes, it finally is. Here. It's Friday, and uh, I'm liking your green dress this morning, Tusi. Uh, thank you. Ooh. I'm loving the pants, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Something to look at. Mm -hmm. All okay, right. So there's I'm so Yomi much... Owope, and of course... Yes, uh... I'm Tisi Oinson. Mm -hmm. I have so many things to talk about today we'll get to that get to that later but yeah. i need you to remember something we're streaming live on tvcontinental.tv and on facebook look us up on tvc connect for comments use that hashtag wake up nigeria uh, of course this is the point where we tell you that Beyonce is in the building with mm looking lovely in her ankara <laughs> good morning guys how are you doing cooking up a storm i hope yeah so we're going straight to this morning's highlights and we're bringing you the story of a young nigerian artist with a passion mm. so some people have to deal with certain parts of their body being much darker than the rest Uche is going to be giving us tips on how to lighten those parts for a more even skin tone. And because it's a Friday, we uh, always talk movies. Mike will be anchoring that segment of the Movie Review. Oh, that's a really classic one right there. So we have some great music coming your way as well. And what would our Friday be without music? Mm, really exciting. A whole orchestra going to be in here. Wow. Amazing <laughs> yeah. stuff. Amazing, amazing. Yeah. So hi, guys. What's up? What's going yeah. on? Friday feeling. <laughs> so you guys got the memo, the Ankara memo. We didn't. You know, yeah. well, Somehow. it's a Friday, so <laughs> the memo has been sent exactly. <laughs> What's going with your mailbox? Not I, I know your mailbox has issues, it, it does, it actually does. Funny enough, no, but <laughs> okay. you know what did What's have issue? issues? Okay, electricity. There was no way for me to iron my Ankara this morning, so mm. yeah, it's one you of those have plan days. For it. They take lights you know, in my house. I, too. Is it? Is it the, <laughs> Is it the coal iron? But I know some people use charcoal what? iron. Are you kidding? Are you actually mm. recommending? It's 2017. No. See, look, see, there are desperate times calls, calls for, for desperate, desperate measures. measures. Wow. Like, speaking of desperate, <laughs> speaking of desperate measures, one of the things I want to do on the show today is talk about how to lighten those ah! parts of your body yeah. <laughs> that are darker than other parts. Now, okay. I'm curious. I've never had a problem with toning your skin mm. because mm. I believe that um, it's a healthy. It's it's a healthy skin routine okay oh, wait, wait, yeah wait, wait, so wait, wait. you need to you really know, explain no, 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 that no, no. regular <laughs> exfoliating okay. Okay. using good skincare products okay. yeah. could somewhat not lighten mm. but tone your skin make it look make it glow make glow it look good over, right? i don't have a problem with you that know, incidentally i just but saw if you're bleaching and then you have all that knuckles mm. incidentally just this morning i saw um a video on instagram of this lady white lady yeah. who took injections to become black no yes. way. Like, where are you I getting those? Photos? No way. So I no, I saw that actually. So I've seen seen that. We were talking about it, and she was so. She mm. looked. I don't know. I don't she was know, very was like in. melanin yeah. injection. So, yeah, maybe. Or so, what happened to her hair? Her hair was so blonde. Oh, her hair, yeah, her hair is so hair blonde. Was blonde but yeah, yeah, but what, she what said she, she, she just. Okay, because as it was an interview, like, mm. okay, why would you suddenly want to. You're white and then you want to be black? You know, and the. It was a live studio, mm. or it was a live studio yes, audience, yeah. and they were mostly black. And oh, they're like, no. and she was like, because I just want to be black. I, I just, feel and black like, oh wow, she feels black you know, like okay. she feels so, black. So, so you know, a lot of ladies who are of the fairer skin are targeted, mm. you know, because mm. people assume that they're, they're bleaching. But mm. there are some who are genuinely fair. We even like have, you, Abby. Yeah, you know the weirdest part <laughs> when I when I was you know pregnant, I went, I was I was almost as dark as as Yomi at one point. Yomi. I'm serious. When you it were was pregnant, really right? bad. That's so scary. when when after that I had to do quite a lot of skincare Care treatment. treatment. I oh. chose the natural route, you know, the herbal remedies and all that, but it helped me exfoliate and get back to my natural That's skin. That's the organic one now, which is, which is very natural. Yeah. So. Well, but it's guys, a I mean, big deal though. It's, it's a big deal. And we're, we're gonna be talking about that later on on the show mm. and how you can even your skin tone. <laughs> so but for our uh, Indomie quiz, we did uh, yesterday ask some questions. And of course, um, you sent us your answers, and we've yeah. got some winners to announce. Yes, so 
We have at Bobby Lumas, who was yes. the first from yesterday, and X Tafari. X Tafari. Wow. Yeah, at X Tafari <laughs> is also a winner. Mm -hmm. And finally, Tony at Tony Dam yes. is also a winner of the ticket yes. to um, so, uh, the Indomie International Heroes. Congratulations. Yeah, congratulations. I really hope they're watching though. Tomorrow is the event. Mm -hmm. I got my dress. Hopefully you got yours. Uh, come and pick up your tickets today at the studio. Make sure you bring valid ID. Mm -hmm. But um, make sure you stay close. We'll be giving you so much more information about this later on. We have to get the show on the road. Fade is on standby to give us the news update. Good morning, Nigeria. On the news this morning, the Chief Medical Director of the Niger Delta University Teaching Hospital, Professor Dimi Ogoina, has confirmed 13 suspected cases of monkeypox in Bielsa State. He also confirmed that one medical doctor is amongst those infected by the virus. The Bielsa State Minister of Health said the monkeypox disease affected two communities in Abura and Biseni. The health commissioner, Ebitimi Tula Etebo, stated that 10 people have been placed under surveillance and samples of the virus sent to the World Health Organization, the WHO laboratory in Senegal. Activities at the Kwara State College of Education, Ilori, are on hold following an indefinite strike called by teachers of the institution asking for the payment of four months of owed salaries. The teachers under the umbrella of Colleges of Education Academic Staff Union shut gates to the institution and also demanded the release of full subvention to their institution, which they say has nosedived in the last two years. The state government appealed to the striking teachers to rescind their decision as government is on the verge of offsetting their arrears. The People's Democratic Party, the PDP, has demanded the immediate suspension and investigation of the group managing director of the NNPC, Meikanti Baru. This is based on revelations by his supervising minister, Ibe Kachuku, that he bypassed the board of the state-owned oil company to award contracts worth 25 billion U.S. dollars without approval. The PDP kicked against President Muhammadu Buhari's continued silence over weighty allegations of corruption leveled against some members of his cabinet and top government officials, while members of the opposition are hounded by the anti-graft agencies. The Independent and National Electoral Commission, INEC, has fixed July the 14th, 2018, that's next year, for the AKT governorship election, while that of Oshun State is to hold on September the 22nd next year. NEC National Commissioner for Information Solomon Shoebi disclosed this on Thursday while briefing journalists at the headquarters of the election management body in Abuja. Shoebi says the dates are in fulfillment of legal requirements which are in line with the 1999 Constitution and the Electoral Act 2010 as amended. Aisha Ahmed has been presented to the Senate for confirmation as Deputy Governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, the CBN. She is to replace former Deputy Governor, who retired early this year. President Buhari has asked the Senate to consider the speedy confirmation of Ahmed so she can resume work immediately. The President has also written the Senate, seeking the confirmation of appointment of members of the Monetary Policy Committee of the CBN. They are to replace four members whose tenure expires at the end of this year. And that's the news this hour. I am Fadish Allah Up next is weather.
Time now for sports, and uh, Mike is right here. Yep, yeah, we're getting ready for tomorrow. <laughs> uh, God is with us, yeah. according to you. I'm getting ready to hide my remote control. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, Mike, Mr. Kenor, this is a sports update. The Super Eagles look set for the 2018 World Cup qualifier against the Chipolopolo of Zambia as they step up preparation for the game this Saturday. All players have been involved in training since Wednesday at the practice and pitch of a Godswell Akbabu Stadium in Uyo. Leading the group with 10 points, Nigeria need a win to qualify for the World Cup and end the hopes of a second placed Zambia of reaching their first ever tournament. Our man promised Foge earlier confirmed that the Super Eagles had another training session this evening. And uh, World Football Governing Body FIFA has announced details of the replay of an annulled 2018 World Cup qualifier between South Africa and Senegal. The game is rescheduled to be played on November 10 at the Pita Mokaba Stadium in Polokwane, capital of South <coughs> Africa's Limpopo province. South Africa won the original match 2-1 last November, but a FIFA investigation in response to betting patterns led to Ghanaian referee Joseph Lamte being found guilty of match manipulation. It is the first ever World Cup qualifier in any continent to be replayed after a referee fixed the outcome. And treble winning German coach uh, Jupp Henkes is set to come out of retirement to take over at Bundesliga champions Bayern Munich for a fourth time. The 72-year-old is expected to succeed sacked Italian Carlo Ancelotti. The German led Bayern to win the treble of a league and the FA Cup and the UEFA Champions League in 2013 before retiring. Bayern sacked Ancelotti as manager following last month's 3-0 loss to PSG in the Champions League. And then Brazilian police have detained the head of the country's Olympic Committee in Rio de Janeiro. Carlos Nozman has been investigated as part of a cash for votes probe after the bid for the Rio 2016 Olympics was won. The arrest is part of a corruption investigation known as Operation Unfair Play. Nozman has previously denied all wrongdoing. Leonardo Agrina, the committee's director general, also was arrested. The inquiry is being conducted in conjunction with French and U.S. police. And then Argentina, Uruguay and Paraguay are to make a joint bid to host the 2030 World Cup. The 2030 World Cup will mark the centenary of a tournament which was first held in Uruguay in 1930. A joint bid from the United States, Mexico and Canada is the favorite to win the hosting rights for the 2026 tournament, with Morocco the only other candidate so far. A total of 48 teams rather than the current 32 will compete at an expanded tournament in 2026. The 2018 World Cup will be held in Russia while Qatar is set to host the 2022 event. And that's it on sports. It's the papers coming up next. Yes, How old will you be in 2030? Did you just give me a math equation? To uh, yeah. <laughs> no, First of all, of, I don't want to even calculate <laughs> how old I'm going to be. I'm thinking of, I'm thinking of Amber and Ruby. How do we in 2030? Uh, oh, They'll probably well, be getting like, married. You know, she'll be like, no, but that's the time when she'll be like, <laughs> make sure you don't bring those boys to the house. <laughs> <laughs> or make sure you do uh, okay. bring them to the house. So okay, you we're not seeing you bring any boys to the house. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, so we're going straight to uh, the newspaper headlines this morning, starting with The Guardian. And the headline, $25 billion um, uh, NNPC fraud is for Buhari's re-election, PDP alleges. Party, others uh, seek Baru suspension, uh, open probe. APC dismisses allegation. Kachiku meets president today. And then still on the cover of The Guardian, why 2018 budget may exceed 10 trillion naira by Soraki. Lawmakers oppose Buhari's request for environment. Uh, Federal government releases 100 billion naira to cook fund for road projects. All on the cover of The Guardian. And on the cover of The Punch, it says, PDP, Sarap, call for suspension of Baru. Buhari meets minister today. NLC demands thorough investigation. We also have the story, Buhari names Ahmad, new CBN deputy governor. Federal government releases 100 billion naira to contractors for Ibadan, Ilori, uh, 24 roads. On page 25, you can read up more about that. EFCC has frozen my late mother's accounts, says Patience 
Jonathan, and uh, police invite Davido and others over Tagbo's controversial death on pages four and five. You can read up a bit more about that. All that from The Punch. And then on the cover of this day, we've got the headline, Buhari to meet Kachiku over NNPC appointments contracts. Uh, why Cold War exists between Minister and Boru. And then uh, PDP demands GMD suspension probe. APC declines comment. And then uh, still on the cover of this day, President taps Aisha Ahmad as CBN Deputy Governor nominee. Uh, and then, of course, nominates others. You see that on the cover of this day. And then finally, Senate, no pending foreign loan request. All on the cover of this day. On the Vanguard, it says PDP, NLC, Serap, and ANEEJ call for Baru's probe. Presidency must speak out to save anti-graft war, say the PDP. On restructuring, it says take action now, Southern Middle Belt leaders tell Buhari. It also says here, alleged harassment patients Jonathan files two billion naira suit against EFCC. And uh, federal government confirms 12 suspected monkeypox cases in Bayelsa, places facilities on high alert. All that from the Vanguard. And on the cover of the Nigerian Tribune, we've got the headline, federal government releases 100 billion naira sukuk proceeds for 25 road projects. And then Buhari nominates new CBN deputy governor. And finally, Ekiti, Oshun gov uh, governorship polls to hold July 14th, uh, September 22nd, 2018. On the Daily Sun, it says, don't intimidate us with soldiers. Southern Middle Belt leaders cry out. And um, there's also the story here, PDP to Fayoshe, presidency zoned to north, says Ekiti governor, uh, governor on a wild goose chase. Uh, it also says here <clears throat> that uh, Ekiti Oshun Guba polls hold 14th of July and September 22nd next year. Mm. And that's it on the Daily Sun and from the headlines for now on Wake Up Nigeria. Now the newspaper headlines are proudly supported by Dettol. Be 100% sure. Let's now get to Mike and Tony for aerobics. Yay, Tony's here. <laughs> Tony. Tony is one of those uh, fitness instructors yeah. that just really wake you up in the morning. Yeah. And he always has these really nice colorful t-shirts on <laughs> saying fit is fun, fit is, you know, He's, Funky. he's also crazy. I mean, he has, sexy. A way, he has a way of bringing people in. Yeah, and making you feel like getting yeah, up and, and uh, doing the workout. And doing the workout, <laughs> even though it's going to be painful. So, he, he has a you way me, next week when Tony comes, will you try and work out with I'm him? I'm thinking about it because it just seems like we don't ever get involved. <laughs> yeah, we're like so chilled and just And we're just cool. eating the food from the kitchen. Exactly. Having all the drinks. But two or three people told me I'd, I'd, I'd you know, lost some weight. They were like, ah, I'm You actually working. have. I think it's from the waking up early. Yeah? Not eating enough. Okay. So, yeah. What's that? I eat a it's lot. It's not from the workout. <laughs> Nyonse and Chef Tolu, they cook up a storm. Are you telling me I will not be eating that food? But you don't There's eat no way. much. You don't eat too much of the food. <laughs> like... Okay, so, so before we're Tony, it to Tony. Yeah, Tony is going to drive us crazy today after telling him we ate all that food. But y'all need to work out with him. <laughs> Okay, so this is the Tony everybody has been gisting about. Tony. Yeah. Why, why does Tony feel like one Jack Chan or something? Okay, so Tony, what do you have for us this morning? Separation of the core. Okay. In all, you know, direction. Separation of the core. Yes, sir. We're going to separate this house, you know, get the core everywhere. You know, when you drag your rubber, okay. I can extend it to come back. All right. I can take it to the side. All right. And we're going to use one protocol called plank. plank. Then we're going to... Take the system off. All right, let's see what Tony has for us. All right, Tony, take yeah. it away. I don't need to tell you. Yeah. Up, up, up. Uh, wake up. No time. Warm up. Warm up. Warm up. Warm up. Inch one. Inch one. Inch one. Inch one. Now, listen, please. If you are a little bit advanced, please, we're going to be using one and a half rep. One and a half rep. Down. Half. And isn't that magical? One and a half rep. Oh, you're yeah, not so, so advanced. Still one and a half rep on my knee. Half. One. You get and yeah. From here we're gonna to try to get into it. What we just got into a squat. You can see I'm squatting now. 
You know now, knee never goes in front of your toe. Yeah, I'm just trying to get some one or two reps of this, man. Try to get this. We said heart rate will go up. A little bit. Let's look for that old school jumping jack. But we're going to add something to it. We're going to be crisscross. See the crisscross here? Because the leg is going in and you get it. So try. Get these numbers. Two, three minutes. Fine. You should be ready. Quickly, no time. Get into that work, into that workout. Today is going to be what? We're going to separate the abs with the core. We're going to separate the core. Oh, don't mind me. But definitely, let's get into this game now. One is going to be this. We're going to get the plank in. Now, this is a plank. In a push up position, this is a plank. This is still a plank. But today, we're going to take it some, some crazy way. I'm going to be doing an extension of the plank. Extension of the plank. One, one, in, in. One, one, in, in. From here, I'm going to extend the hand. I'll try to touch my armpit. I'll try to touch my armpit. For me, I'm not breaking, I'm coming down. I'm also trying to touch laterally, side. The core should be tight. I don't want this, wrong. It should be here, tight. From here, some couple of numbers again. Then from here, see what will happen. You see your saw. You know the way you, you're gonna be rocking that plank. For what? Backward. For what? Backward, if you are not too advanced, please feel free. On your knee, forward, 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 back, back. Make sure, very inclined, from my head down here, you can see, it's so straight. Then from here, what happens again? Plank, don't do this. Don't sag, knee, tight, core, should be tight. Stomach, your ass, tight. Side, side, side. Stabilization, then from here, what happens again? Try to get, Rock, or you just bring yourself up and stay in a plank form. Then we said something, something's gonna happen. Heart rate is gonna go up. Now, this is where it gets magical. Just follow me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Quickly get down to push up, up, and one. Try to do this for about nine good rounds. And later, come and thank us here in TVC. Okay, we know your heart rate will be elevated. Okay, all right, thank you very much. Will thank you later. All right, thank you very much. That was a wonderful workout. Yeah. All right, that's uh, all we have for our aerobic session this morning. Sharp, easy, and quick. Okay, so let's now head to the kitchen where Beyonce is with the uh, MM. What do you guys have for us this morning? Thank you very much, Mike. Always a delight to have Tony take us through some workout routine. <laughs> All right. I'm always excited when I see Tony. Right? I know. He has the uh, most interesting set of um, workouts. Well, it's also a delight to always have you here in the kitchen. Okay. So what are you making for us this Today, morning? Today, we are making spicy fish cake and bell pepper sauce. Oh, say that again. Spicy fish cake. Spicy fish cake. Yes. Where do you come up with all these names? <laughs> spicy fish cake. Okay, so what's what's... What consists of this um, spicy yes. fish? So um, we have butter here, yeah? yeah. we have egg wash, flour. What's egg wash? Egg. Flour, breadcrumbs, red chilies, seasoning cubes, salt, curry thyme, tomatoes, bell peppers. This is the yellow bell pepper, this is the green pepper bell pepper. We have already boiled potatoes. That's um, Irish potatoes. Irish potatoes. We have onions. We have uh, our Titus fish. We are making use of Titus fish. Oh, we are not making use of any complicated fish this no, morning. No, 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 no. <laughs> we could make use of a cod, you know, all those nice fancy fish, but we have to keep it Nigerian and just make use of something we can easily lay our hands on. Okay. So basically, this is what we are making. Um, we are boiling the potatoes until it is almost tender. While it is almost tender, you just sieve the water out like we've done right now. The, this is almost boiled potatoes in okay. salt water. Okay. Um, when that is boiled, we grate the potatoes. Mm. While grating them, we are cooking our fish, we seasoned it, cooking it. When it's ready, we flip the fish into the grated potatoes. We add a bit of um, chilies, a bit of onions, a bit of parsley, then we make it into a cake. When that is made, we make it like a burger party. Okay. Then we put it into the Egg, egg wash, wash flour, flour bread no, flour, egg wash, breadcrumbs. Okay. Flour, this, egg wash, breadcrumbs. It's, it seems like a lot of work, so let's yeah. just get to it. So um, we're starting, we've already boiled the potatoes. These are um, boiled 
till it is almost tender. It is not tender. It is not, you can't eat it right now, like, unless you like eating um, almost done potatoes. So basically... I don't understand. How are you supposed to eat your potatoes? Your boiled potatoes? When it is done. Like, I like it soft. Okay. <laughs> so this is salt going into the fish. One seasoning cube. A bit of curry and thyme. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we're are we leaving the fish to marinate? Or no, we're, we're just cooking it already. Oh, straight okay. away. No need for marination. We don't need to marinate sharp, the sharp. fish. Yes. So also we want to cook the fish just a little so it's not too soft. soft. Yeah. So you can actually flick flick the fish. When you say flick, that's pieces the fish. Yes, pieces yeah. the fish. Pieces the fish. <laughs> <laughs> flick, whatever that means. We are pieces in the fish, in yes, the potatoes, are. our grated potatoes. Now, what we're doing is we want to grate our already done potatoes. Okay. So, um, yes, we are grating them. Is there anything you want me to do here for you? Um, you could just, you know, just admire me. <laughs> I'm the work of art that I'm about to do. No, I'm, ad I'm admiring this work of art, this one here. Yeah, it's, it's fine. Anyone, anyone. That's about to go into my mouth later today. No, actually, you, you won't be having a taste of this. Today. You certainly know I would. No, I, you, are, you won't. Because I'm just a foodie. Really? It's in my blood. What, what, what is, um, I don't know, I've, of oh, recent, I've just been craving bully. I do not know why. Bully yes. and um, spiced <laughs> tomatoes. I do not know why, but I've been craving bully. <laughs> with fish and komo? Yeah. <laughs> or with granules? <laughs> no, I think with fish and komo. Ah, <laughs> heavenly. That meal is heavenly. Me also make that. Oh, you've made that before on the yes, show, Yes, I right? have. I have made that. Please before. make it again. So while we are doing this, we could also start making our bell pepper sauce. Okay. Um, you could get me a pan. Okay. So I'm just gonna get a pan for you. Um, a big pan, small pan, flat pan. Flat pan. Oh, okay. you shouldn't be sending me on errands. You know, I'm, you know, yeah, so I shouldn't be bending. No, 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 no. I heard you know, pregnant women. I'm need, very delicate need, right now. A, no, I heard they need a bit of exercise. <laughs> but what do pregnant women do? Like, like. Ah. My mother-in-law called me one time and said, hope you're not eating snail. Don't eat snail. They will be coming out, with baby will be doing like this. Smear, smear. I said, hey. <laughs> Sorry. Then my mom is like, don't take cold water. Stay away from cold water. But what, what did, what has doc, doc, doctors recommend? Funny enough, the doctors are like, eat everything, but stay away from, you know, um, anything sensitive, anything harsh, anything that has acid in it. Stay away from lip teens. Lem t uh, so lemon teas, green teas, and stay away from coffee. Yeah. So, I mean, I used to be like a coffee addict, but right now, I can't you take can't, coffee. You can't be an addict. <laughs> well, I used to love coffee a lot, but yeah. So, in our pan, um, we are going to... So, MM is going to be doing a bit of cooking today. All right, because yeah, I love to while cook. While I'm grating, she be doing the cooking. Okay, so what do you need me to do now? Yes, um, what I need you to do right now is... When, when this pan is dry... Mm. Yeah. Sorry. You're not exactly sure what you want me to do for you. I know what you Give me the oil. Please. <laughs> Thank Please you. give me the oil. <laughs> I mean, let's be a diva every time. Like, well, <laughs> what should be a diva? It comes with the territory. In the, in the, kitchen, in the kitchen, yeah. In the kitchen, we, we, we don't allow divas to work. Ah, uh, please. Divas are no chefs. Like When you eat a diva's <laughs> food, it's the most delicious. I, I worked with the best so, set, I worked with the best set of females in Abuja. and they, Okay, they, so how much of the oil do you want me to put in? Yeah, um, just add it, I'll tell you. About three tablespoons. That is fine. That is fine. You know? it, I mean, I say, we are not in Yankee. Yankee, we don't use spoons to measure oil. You pour the oil. <laughs> Okay. Because I'm crazy potatoes. <laughs> okay. Um, so the first thing that goes into is our garlic and onion. Okay. Just onions. Just chop them. Okay. Chop, roughly chop them. Oh, okay. So um, while I'm going, I'm just going to chop these onions yeah. and then we'll go on a quick commercial break. When we return, we'll talk about the Rekit Beckinsale Mavericks Challenge. Stay with us. We'll be right back. 